How are you doing? I am shattered, completely and utterly <laughs> shattered. It is the Monday after the Jubilee bank holiday weekend and I'm so tired. I'm absolutely worn out from it. I hope that you had a wonderful Jubilee bank holiday weekend. Whatever you did, whether you got involved with the celebrations or whether you just enjoyed the extra bank holiday that we were given. I hope you had fun. Let me know what you got up to. For us, we decided to go down to London. Um, it was me, Stephen, the three children that are currently with me, and we met Lara down in London. Obviously, Lara sort of works there and part-time lives down in London, so we met her down there and she spent the time with us as well. And, oh my goodness, what a weekend. I'm absolutely just worn out. We didn't get back until crazy late last night because of issues getting into Euston and getting no one could leave London, I don't think, but it was, it was a bit chaotic. It was so amazing. We went down on Wednesday. That first day, we just went to Covent Garden. The plan was to do more, but to be honest, the kids were a bit whacked after <laughs> the journey. So we just went to Covent Garden, and it's a very, very touristy place, but kids always enjoy it. If you don't know, Covent Garden has a long-standing tradition of street performers they've been doing it for hundreds of years and it's just good fun the kids and they always get the kids involved in it next the kids face the front oh you've got your hand up what do you need the toilet no? kids face the front this one that we watched this time they they just do ridiculous things they walked across a rope basically in their underpants. Kids found it hilarious. Parents, will you please cover the children's faces? I don't want to see this on YouTube in three months time out of context. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you enjoy the show, come up at the end, support it. I'll do it for thousands more people like you in the days coming forward. If the racket hits ground before I do, everyone, please go wild. Wait for it, wait for it. Like I say, very touristy, but it's a good thing to do with kids, I always think. So we did that on the first day, and then we just headed back to our hotel. We did stay a little bit outside of central London, mainly for price, to be honest, because, as you can imagine, <laughs> central London for uh, for six people. Uh, that's not cheap, so we stayed a little bit outside of central London, which, to be honest, worked out really quite nicely, because we had quite a bit of outdoor space outside our hotel. There was on the little once we got off the train walk, we had like a little like five minute walk to our hotel and there was like a little sand pit there well quite a big sand pit there to be honest and like water area with a fountain and ducks and fish and things and the kids always like quite enjoyed doing that like in the evening when we'd finish all our stuff so it, it worked out quite well staying where we stayed and then on thursday it was <laughs> kind of a disastrous sort of but I say that was a disastrous it wasn't a disastrous day but I don't think it was a day the kids particularly enjoyed if I'm honest it was the Trooping of the Colour on Thursday which if you don't know the Trooping of the Colour marks the, the Queen or whoever the British Sovereign is so the, the, the moment the Queen's uh, official birthday soldiers and horsemen uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of them go down the mall they march down the mall like from the from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade and people line the streets to watch it. It, it happens every year, it's not just a, a jubilee thing, it happens every single year and people have camped overnight to get like a good spot. By the time we got there, we were probably about 15 people back on the mall and we literally couldn't really see a thing. The kids were getting angsty about it all and it was a bit of a disaster in all honesty. <laughs> trying to like put the kids on our shoulders and they did catch little sneak peeks of soldiers going past. Halfway through we decided to kind of just step away and we sat in St James's Park for a bit which was nice the kids were able to have a little bit of a run around and then we joined back in with the crowds for the fly past so after the tubing of the colours finished 
they open the barriers and everyone can get onto the mall and that's when like the royal family came onto the balcony i mean no one could see that let's be real <laughs> and there was the fly pass which was pretty cool the kids all loved that stephen was really into that And then the next day, Friday, we had tickets to go to Super Bloom at the Tower of London, which is um, loads of flowers, wildflowers were planted in the moat of the Tower of London. But because of weather or whatever, they just haven't really bloomed yet. And so you could get a refund. As we were walking past the Tower of London the day before, we sort of had a peek and were like, there's literally no flowers there. I didn't think it was worth doing, to be honest. So I have applied to get our money back. Hopefully I'm going to get get it back i'm not sure i haven't had any confirmation of it i don't know whether i did it too late or anything but i just thought we're just going to be walking around basically like tall grass there didn't seem a point in it to be honest so i cancelled those tickets and instead we went on a little walk around the city we went to see like the gherkin and um, the lloyd's building where lara used to work and the kids wanted to go on a london bus so we kind of just hopped on a bus um they wanted to sit at the top so we just hopped on a bus and took it to somewhere and then <laughs> came back gotta do it we were trying to find like a good route and we've but to be honest we found some good london bus routes but because of the jubilee celebrations obviously all the roads in central london were closed so we couldn't do the routes we wanted to do so we literally just got on any bus went for a little bit <laughs> got off crossed the road and came back and then in the afternoon on that day a cool thing that we did i didn't know you could do this but you could go up the tower um the tower bridge definitely recommend that as an experience it's pretty cool you go up and there's glass floors on both sides of the of the bridge it's a really cool experience all the kids liked it i was super crazy brave i was just able to stand on the glass floor no problem like i'm terrified of heights like terrified 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 but it was no problem to me whatsoever whether it was because i had like kids and a lot going on that I couldn't didn't have time to kind of think about my own fears I don't know but I was able just to stand on it and sit on it and whatever no problem whatsoever but it's a really cool little thing they have a little like booklet for kids that you go around and stamp to learn different things about like how many people it takes to raise the tower I thought that the bridge didn't really rise anymore like it was a very rare occurrence but apparently it rises like 20 30 times a week and whilst we were there the lady who was like giving a little talk at the start was saying that the next scheduled one was the following day at half past four and me and Stephen were like oh we'd really like quite like to see see it raised we've never seen it raised so we sort of penciled that in for the following day that we wanted to see the the bridge being raised and then on saturday we did a really quick very quick whistle stop tour of the museums the science museum history museum they're in kensington they're all they're both like they're right next to each other and so the queues for those places can be ridiculous but the, we because we were early they weren't too bad we just like went in both museums and <laughs> did just kind of like quickly around them those museums are right by um, kensington gardens and high park which kensington gardens and high park is all it's like it's one park really it's all sat and had lunch in in kensington gardens right by the big um, prince albert statue in the royal albert hall which that statue is just amazing it's absolutely huge every time i see it it kind of just blows my mind to be honest it's it's insane but yeah, we, as we were wandering over to try to find the park, we stumbled across the Diana, I don't know if it's a memorial or what it is, but it's the, the little fountain thing that, <laughs> that's in Diana's name. And it was really quite a warm day. And so I was like, yeah, just roll your pants up or take your pants off and we'll just like figure it out. Um, so they had an absolute blast. 
splashing around in this water and walking around for ages and ages and ages. They had such a good time, it was nice. And then it was time to leave to go and see the bridge being raised, which was pretty cool. I'm glad we, we got over there to see the bridge raised. Like I say, we'd never seen it before. And then yesterday, the final day, it was the the Jubilee pageant and it was absolutely spectacular. We got there, we checked out the hotel, we had our breakfast at the hotel, we checked out early and we got to the Mall. We sort of like figured out the route it was going on. We sort of thought about before, I think you have to do like a bit of pre-planning with these things and so I planned where I thought would be a good place to go. They had big screens up, I thought we could be near a big screen. If we leave early enough we can get quite near the front so the kids can at least see something and it worked out well. Open up the atmosphere and being around, it was just, it's really, really special actually being there. And then the parade itself or the pageant itself oh my goodness it was so so amazing like the buses going through the decades and all the different performers and the dancing and the cars and the bikes and just oh, the costumes just everything about it was absolutely magical it was amazing and you know the kids we were like front row got to see it all it was so special it really it really was it was fantastic
finished at half four and then they opened the barriers. Safe onward journey of everybody here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Oh.